the amount of revelations last episode had. I thought we were going to go on a fun little date to a concert. But psych, it's Charlotte as usual. Hits you in the back of the head. We go into the white room, Charlotte style. So we lost our memories. Because, probably because the girl with the memory cleansing power wiped her memories. Or is it because we just jumped to a different time leap, timeline, right? Because, you know, Shun has that time leap ability. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. So... You has this power called Plunder, and we thought that he only knows how to possess someone for five seconds and that's it. But he can take someone's skills as well. This is not copying. You literally take it and that person doesn't have it anymore. I don't know what is the requirement for him to actually plunder somebody because they have been multiple people that he has taken their bodies of. And Mega, even like um, Megane, right? Have we taken Megane's body before? And he still has his power, so clearly we're not plundering just yet. I wonder if he needs to be actually aware of his ability called plunders, and then that actually activates. Because so far, even though we have possessed a lot of people that has powers, I don't think we've really plundered them just yet. Ayumi, potential to be saved? Pizza sauce could be back? But I'm not so sure. Like... An enemy like this, are they gonna give us a happy ending? Mm, I, 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 I got my hopes a little. It's like optimistically cautious, right? Cautiously optimistic. I'm like, okay, big brother Shun, you got time leap. Sure, can we actually save big sis, little sis, or are we gonna get fucked? I don't really know, but there's also some downsides with time abilities, right? Like, if we keep jumping in time like that, aren't we gonna just like fuck everything up? Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> This is after time leap. Oi. Ayumi. Shun. So this is after we broke out. We didn't really break out, but we were able to get the blindfold off, right? Of Shun. But he time leaped, and now we have reset. Did we go regress in time? Did we jump to a different timeline? No opening, bro. Today's episode is called Plunder. Ayumi is back! So he's the only one with the memories, no one else. Which makes a lot of sense. So it's not that girl that erased, you know, used memories. It's just like he's the only one that retains it. This is a new timeline, or did we regress? Ikemen Poo, man. Is his name Pooh? I thought it's Poe. Is it actually Pooh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, this is Busty as fuck, but they're best friends. So now, with him knowing that Shun has time leap, what can we really do in order to avoid getting caught within those three years? Because we need a lot of fucking money. And I thought we got the money from, like, basically just, like, Plundering the research lab and the government facilities. If I have to explain every little single detail, this anime reaction is never gonna end. So these are, yeah, this is the OG3 that was there, right? This is the kid that's able to fade through walls, this girl memory powers, and, uh... That's the butler driver, huh? Because he has his hair slicked up, I think that's him. Memory wipe. Or hypnotism. Oh, what the fuck? I thought she had... I thought she had memory wiping skills, but she has... It just makes people fall asleep, but in return, she falls asleep. What is it? Oh, okay, he's the memory guy. My, I, I got it backwards. I thought the pink hair girl was the memory guy. Because it takes a long fucking time. Got it. True. Is there a super rich person amongst us? Maybe this kid is super rich, Megane over here, who's not Megane just yet. I don't know, his clothing looks super preppy, and he was like driving like a limousine before, too. Is he super rich? Yeah, Star Ocean Academy. Oh shit! What the fuck? 
So we have to do this multiple times. Over and over. So they already got caught. God damn. What are they? Fucking stray dogs? It looks like it's like fucking... Well, it's not SPCA, but you know, it's like people with fucking nets. Like catching stray animals. Yo, what is this power, man? Yo, this person up and down some kind of gravity power disc, dude? I wonder how many iterations there has been now. There's one person that would understand, the guy that enjoyed the classical music, the researcher last episode that helped us out, but is he still around? Someone that could be empathetic to it, okay. Good idea, Pooh! <laughs> wow, happy birthday! <laughs> what? Did he just like try over and over and over until he won the lottery? That's how he got the money? And like, does the lottery code change every time? Because if it doesn't change, right, if we could just go read what the numbers are, the winning numbers, and we could go back in time, then we could somehow get that number. I'm not exactly sure how. Maybe we would all have to buy tickets until we got that number. But, like, if we know the answer, assuming the answer doesn't change, the time leap is super OP for this. A lot of fucking money, bro. Multiple lotteries at a time, bro. Think bigger. It's time to gamble. That's all you gotta do, guys. Moral of the story. When you're down on your luck, just go gamble. It's gonna solve all your problems. Surely, you're not gonna lose more than what you got, right? <laughs> he must have a fucking script that he needs to fucking say over and over again, bro. The vision. Vision blurs as it keeps using time leap. That is the trade-off. The more you abuse time leap, the more blind you get. But also, there is the singer, Sara, from ZN, who also went blind. I doubt there is something similar there. I don't know how she really got blind. She said that God took it away or traded it for her soul or some shit. I forget. But it's like, if she abused her powers, does she even have powers before in the past? We don't know. <laughs> Okay, we got all the fucking lotteries. And that makes his eyesight worse. What? And that makes it worse. Wait, 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 wait. So you have to have some kind of visual ability to... What is it? What is it? What is it? All of this stuff, you need the vision for that. And if you're already blind, and you can't see it flash before your eyes, then the clock doesn't turn back anymore. So we can't just keep spamming it. If he's blind to a point where his eyes don't work literally at all, it's just currently just blacked out, then we can't time leap anymore, right? This is dangerous. Star Ocean. <laughs> Happy 15th birthday again. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah, Star Ocean. That's what we should make. That's what he's thinking. <laughs> and then, uh, this is the final time loop. <laughs> I thought that he's saying we could do it one more time to save Ayumi. Don't we have like one more cooldown? Just one more later after this? When we meet? Oh. Ayumi loves stars. Do you like ocean? They keep saying that this is his last time leap ever. The friendship between Pooh and Onisama, bro, it's kind of wholesome. No more timely? Really? Shun is basically principal of the school, even though he's a high school student. So that's how they lose the memories here. 
We hide in the shadows to hunt the shadow. Do we have multiple schools? There isn't multiple schools yet, right? Just survive, bro. So that's where he started just going like. No, the wet water! The water! The answers on why he's wet coming in with the bangs like that. I thought it's just part of his power. I thought that this dude, in order to activate his, like, you know, UAV online power to find other psychics is like, um, or ESPers is like, he needs to jump in the pool, be wet, then when he's moist, then he drops. So, like, even the dropping of the water bead on his fingers to a map. Like, what was that? He never had to do it. I thought that the water was, like, the thing that's stupid about his power. I thought that it's like, the, the, the setback of your UAV power is just like, you gotta be wet, and it's just gonna drip, like... <laughs> we got fucking... <laughs> we got lied to, but honestly, I don't mind, because... It was the, one of the funniest running gags until shit got serious. I love this character, I still do, but before, that shit was so funny, when we were just walking wet, say nothing, no Ryoku, and leave. <laughs> and this is the current timeline that we are in. Making plans to abandon you. I had to clean the place up. Ayumi is already so grown up at a young age. So she's also gonna fall asleep, right? Can we just wake her up? Ayumi? <laughs> That's Ivy, but you just get bonk. Okay, so like, if we wake her up now, do we just slap her to like wake up and then can she just wake up? And then now wipe their memories, yep. Does the future look bright? This is so cool, seeing like the origin stories of all this. How the big brother was like missing. Now what? Now we're trying to save Ayumi with your time leap, but you can't even time leap anymore. Okay. Wait. Plunder. Why don't we just fucking plunder his skill, take it, then you can go back. But then, if he goes back, does he still have the time leap? But like, if we take his powers, and then what? Do we keep the time leap ability after we went back and regressed? Or I don't even know if this is a regression or not. We'll see. Because like, what if his vision starts to get fucked and then... I don't know, man. Okay. What? Megane knew the entire fucking time, bro? Everyone fucking knew except us! Plunder. It's fucking busted. Their entire family's powers are nuts, man. Man! If it, I just realized an alternative solution. Why doesn't you just plunder everyone's powers? So like, why don't we have him plunder everyone's powers such that everyone else don't have powers anymore and they'll be safe and we only have to protect you. Like this academy existing is nice. We're grouping people in. But if we just have you just go in, plunder people's abilities, and then let them just go out, then aren't they just like safe? Because they they lost their powers, and it's like the scientists would no longer go after them because they have no fucking powers. Like, does that not make sense? Does that? Am I crazy? Why did why why did Big Bro not think about this? What, what, why are we not just doing that? Episode one shit. You possess, then you have to steal. Yeah. Bro is literally fucking Itsuka Shido, bro, just collecting all the fucking spirit powers. Wait, 
Well, we have no idea what kind of monster you turn out if you kept collecting power. So this is the thing that contests my theory. Like, what happens if he just keeps using this? Because, like, just another thing, right? Because, like, the setback we think, the setback we think is him also becoming unconscious when he takes over somebody else, right? And, it, and it's only for five seconds. But what if that's actually not the setback and there's something else? If he keeps abusing it, like there's some negative consequence, right? <laughs> that was the telepathy? <laughs> Whose power was that? Who, which, which one's power is that? He just was able to pull... That's the baseball guy. And that's why when he possessed the baseball guy, it was like he just got knocked out and they woke up in front of now. So he already was able to take people's powers even though he's, uh, he didn't know he could plunder. So my, I guess, what I said about him possessing Meganite, that, did that even happen? Because Meganite still has his powers, right? He never took Meganite. He never possessed Meganite. He never possessed anyone in our vicinity. Even if he doesn't know, he can still... Okay, my bad. I, I thought that he possessed Meganite. My bad, my bad, my bad. So if he just takes someone over, he already just like steals their powers. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> I thought that he'd have to like be aware and wants to steal her or something. And will he still have the time limp ability though when he goes back? Who knows? Don't bait me with saving sister and then if you don't save sister, I'm gonna be so sad, man. Steal! I mean, uh, uh, plunder! Bye now. All the, all the, all the memories, all the, all the stuff we did with her big bro, and, and what about her, what about her progress? It's already a fucked up timeline, but like, you know, you know, we, we did so much and we're finally went to a date. We kind of like put her brother in, you know, in better place. I guess we can still do that, right? We, 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 we can still do that, but damn, it feels bad. It feels bad that we put so much fucking work into this current game state. Now we got to start a new game. Okay, I'll go, I'll go. Charoto. <laughs> Zafkid! <laughs> you the bet, and we're back, and... And his vision, is, is his vision... Does it get worse? How does that work? Okay, we're back on episode 6, huh? Okay, we're back on episode 6 timeline. The part of collapse, duh. I've traveled across time. I just don't know if he still has time leap right now or not. That's what I'm confused about. Oh, now can come. Sure. Wait, wait, no, 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 no. Where's the other girl? Kill her right now. Where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're fucking going right now? <laughs> Get the box cutter knife out. <laughs> yeah, it's her, bro! Don't let her leave! No! She will still do something. Even if we take Aimee's power, what's gonna happen now? If we take Aimee's power and we just let the timeline run, assuming the same things are gonna happen, she's gonna corner her and she's gonna get stabbed with the box cutter. The, 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 the solution... There is no solution. Just taking her power is not enough. Like, she's gonna die then. Like... We, what do we do? <laughs> what do we fucking do, dude? <laughs> we really take out the other girl? Uh, we might be. We might be like that later. I think she made the same hue, hue, hue sound before, yeah? Ooh. Then I have. And he still hasn't plundered Ayumi just yet. That sounds weird. And you were there for me. Oh, we're, we're, we're raising her up early, early. And by the way, I saved your big brother. We don't have to completely start from scratch. This is nice. Okay, hey, this is great. Can't see her face. But judging by her voice tone, it's like she's actually taking it pretty seriously too. Okay, okay, this is good. This is good. This might be even a better run. You guys know about speedrunning? Like speedrunning games, right? Sometimes there's like the perfect run, right? You get the right RNG, you get the right things. 
Last last run, we did this too late. This run, we're already fucking stacking up the affection points early, bro. Like, this is already good. Yeah. <laughs> Betty bedtime. Betty bedtime! And plundered. Take that power away. He can just cause earthquakes now. The girl. <laughs> what do we do? What are we gonna do? Because, <laughs> like... I don't think that the girl can be, the child can be reasoned with. Like, we, I, it, how can we correct her? Like, you can't just talk to her and just be like, I, I don't know. We need to seriously take her out with her. It's the only fucking way. I, I just, cause like just talking to her and saying, you know, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna try to kill her or something. Don't do that. I'll, I'll threaten you. I, maybe we could threaten her. I know what you're gonna do. Don't you dare touch my sister. This is the day of episode six when collapse happens. Okay, okay, still. I swear to God, if she fucking dies this timeline, oh my fucking God. Oh, yo. New look, Megane. Is that a wig? Sure. We just gonna call her out in front of the entire kids at middle school, dude? I hope so too, man. I hope so. Oh! Could we not have saved... Misa? When, when did Misa die? Quite a while ago? Because like... He, he, I, you know, we have this time leap ability and yeah, we're saving Ayumi, but like... You know, you know Yusari and the sister... It's, it's, it's a long time ago, right? It's, it's take too much time, it's a year... <laughs> I, I mean... Like, Misa could have lived... I, I, we forget about me. We, we, we conveniently don't tell, you know, Yusari and we don't tell her. Are we even, like, alive when Misa was there? How does that work? You know what I mean? This is the most average middle school kid in high school. Oh, sorry, middle school kid in anime. She's too fucking popular! That's not the same kid that has a crush on Ayumi, right? <laughs> is Misa gonna come out and start making all these kids cry? <laughs> bro fell on his knees! That's Megane Takajo in training, bro, because Takajo will be on the ground licking the fucking spit! <laughs> These kids are beyond. These middle school kids are fucking over. It's a wrap, dude. You thought they're pure innocent? No, it, it, it's a fucking wrap. They've already corrupted a long time ago. Well, the costumes helped, you know, maybe draw aggro. And now a lot of people will be gone. So now it makes space for us. Where's the limousine? Why? How? They know. So this is what I was confused about. They already fucking knew. But. Only because they knew that Ayumi would have collapsed? Like, like, uh, how did they have the intel to figure out, oh shit, we need to fucking go? How, how, how does that work? Whose powers would let them know? Who would have communicated? But it, even in the previous, the first time it ever happened, the first, like, this timeline, it would make sense that Pooh was aware of the ability and said, you know what, shit's gonna go wrong. Even if you're aware that, you know, Ayumi has the power, like, why would they show up on that day of? Just because it could happen at any time. I, I guess that's the idea. Pooh told them, collapse, and then it's probably going to be Ayumi. I, I, I don't know. And, and then they were like, shit, we need to go there right now. Uh, I, I. Big Brew knew... Oh, that's right. Shun did know. Shun did know. Pooh should also know. Therefore, when collapse appears, oh shit, Ayumi's in danger. We need to go immediately is the idea. Oh shit, here we go. We're doing it again. You, I swear to God, if you don't save her... Oh god, we're getting deja vu all over again, man. Ooh! He was in- Oh, I didn't realize! I didn't really know where the locker was, where he was hiding! Oh, shit! What if she accidentally- What if, what if she kills you and Ayumi here? That would never happen, right? But could you imagine? Because only Chan shows up and like he gets stabbed by her and we all just die. Alright. Uh, that was collapsed a little bit. Or maybe some other power. I'm not sure. <laughs> so we just fucked her hairstyle up? We, we, we basically just fucked her haircut up, bro. I don't, I, don't, I don't know which power this was. 
Uh, is this collapse just in the windows, or is this the ability that you took from the other? No, that 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 was. Oh my god, that was a different timeline. I still don't know how it works if he has different timelines. I'm just gonna assume this is collapse right now. He just did partial collapse on this thing, but basically, <laughs> we, and then Tomori showed up. Was that telekinesis? I don't know. One of the powers. And then she just fucked her bangs up. <laughs> This is a punishment, cause like you know, girls are age. Like if you you know give them a bad haircut, you cut the bangs. It's like it's like ruining their fucking lives. So this is serious, man. <laughs> Fuck out of here, bitch! Push her down the stairs. Okay. It's happy so far, but I'm gonna be cautious about this. Things are going too well, don't you think? I don't don't jinx it. Don't jinx it. Please, please, please. Oh, there's three more episodes. Oh no, cause like we could just end the fucking anime here. Everyone has a fun time. Like we we could just say this and then and then you could be like, hey Shun, you know, I could just steal everyone's powers and plunder them in Star Ocean, then everyone's gonna be happy, but like uh, uh. Stop raising flags! Who was that? Okay, good, it's our team. Poo. Poo -poo. Happy episode! This might be the most happiest episode? Well, I don't know about most happiest, but so far this episode was an actual good conclusion, right? Okay, so today's episode... We got to learn exactly how, like, like what was Shun doing? How did he even set up Star Ocean? And the moral of the story is, if you ever need money, just gamble. Just gamble, assuming you have an ability to time leap. Bro gave away his vision in order to fucking, you know, get enough. Well, it wasn't just for the gamble, right? But still, there was a lot of iteration that does. And then, while you abuse that power, your vision goes away. What I'm confused about, and don't answer this question. I'm not asking for spoilers when I ask these questions. These are rhetorical questions, is... When he plunders, use time leap. Does he still have that power after he time leaped? Probably not. I would hope not. Now, what are we doing now? Now that we plundered, now we, that we saved Ayumi, we should be able to just go back to the cave. The memory will be sent back and, and Ayumi will meet Big Brother Shun and everything should be happy. But next episode's title is called Charlotte. And people are saying that this anime doesn't have a happy ending. And I feel like we're just getting set up and baited. I don't have a fucking good feeling about this, but so far this episode, Pretty good resolution. Only thing I wanted to do was push that girl down the stairs because I'm a fucking insane monster that loves bullying kids. But so far, it's looking pretty good. But we got to be cautious about it. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.